What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut8610, and today I just got my Legacy of Destruction uh, boxes from uh, basically the premiere event. I still want to say sneak preview, it's basically sneak preview, I mean, let's not beat around the bush, but yeah. Of course, as you guys know, I've said it plenty of times, I normally go in Oklahoma City to pick up my boxes, so it's kind of an all-day thing, so that's why you're seeing this uh, on Sunday instead. But, I do plan to live stream, actually, later on tonight, because it's Sunday, I usually live stream on Sunday, uh, 6.30 Central Time is when I'll be online, I'm going to be on Drip, and if you want to sign up, it helps out, you get that free store credit as well, it helps support the channel, and uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun, got some Unity packs, and some of the new high uh, high collection Rush Duel packs and stuff too, maybe someone will get that Dark Magician. And uh, just going to have fun on there tonight. So sign up, get your store credit, and uh, yeah, help support the channel. We can hang out, open some packs, and uh, I don't know. Last time we talked about anime, so we could do that too. <laughs> A little bit of everything, right? I won't have Legacy of Destruction yet because I think next week I should get all my stuff. So we'll probably have a big live stream for Legacy of Destruction then. Depends if FedEx likes me or not. We'll see how everything goes. But it looks like this is like crammed with packs, so... We'll see what we can get. I don't know. I'm hoping for the best. This set is one I've been looking forward to for a while because we have the new cards for Yugi. Basically, he has like a whole archetype here. Tenpai Dragons are really good. Melodious cards are really good. New Dyed Bell Star stuff. Uh, the Illusion Magician is really good from this set. The new Ashen stuff is even good. And you got Light Swarns and even a Skull Servant. So I'm kind of happy about that one. Anyway, let's get to it. All right. Like and subscribe. Enough yapping. Oh, well, I, those cards stuck together. Okay, starting off with Code of Soul. I did hear that we were getting this one, so super rare. Kind of cool. It's like from the anniversary. I think basically we're getting all the rest of them that aren't that one in uh, the next Battles of Legend. Because they're like cover cards and stuff. So I think it's pretty much confirmed. But yeah, there is our new School Servant as well. And new Yubel stuff. The Yubel Throne is really good. Like kind of stupid good honestly you know like they really did that and new ancient gear stuff which i'm kind of hyped about I might build the mimitolan stuff is actually good too and we have fishborg uh, harpooner also if you didn't know i open up this set a few times in japanese even in some of our live streams so if you want to stay updated where you kind of got a sneak preview before the sneak preview be sure to subscribe. I always open up the Japanese sets, and later this month, we're getting uh, the next set, actually, the Exodia set, which we'll get in English uh, in a, three months or so. So, yeah, if you want an early look, see the new Exodia cards, I hope you'll subscribe and stay tuned. Because I'm looking forward to that one. And, oh, it's the... Oh, okay, it's actually a super rare? I didn't know on that one. Uh, yeah, you got the Sajin Pai Transcendent Dredgeon. So, yeah, they're big synchro monsters. Actually, just super... Pretty much everything is cheap for them, I think, except if you want Trident Dragion, you know, the, what was he in a Raging Battle, I think? Um, that's the expensive card, but I kind of think that card's going to get reprinted, so I don't really recommend spending all your money on that, and honestly, the deck works without it, too. It's a good synchro, but I'm just saying, the deck is pretty well budgeted, except for picking up an older card. Maybe wait on that card to be reprinted. I'm just saying. But, they're pretty scary. I've tested them out a little bit on, like different things and uh yeah <laughs> they synchro summon like crazy kind of glad we don't have baron anymore because they could summon that too and oh we got uh oh yeah this is one of the new archetypes the uh rajan nara narika is that how you pronounce that chain coils basically but yeah new link four for them i don't know how you pronounce it technically i know they have some Interesting names. So, you know. Here we are, you know. You know what channel you're on. Alright, give me a quarter century, by the way. There's some really cool ones. Okay, Ashen. Again, I'm happy the Ashen stuff is actually good. And here's uh, the new uh, fusion, actually, for Light Swords. Enlightenment Dragon. So, yeah, Punishment Dragon and Judgment Dragon fused together. It's pretty neat, actually. The Lightsworn stuff is good, and they're basically reprinting all the different Lightsworn packs, like the Structure Deck and even Light of Destruction, to make it easier to build Lightsworns. There you go. I still think it's Konami's favorite archetype, so... It's not going to be too tough to build Lightsworns, although I don't think anything was too expensive unless you were going for really high rarity. But make it even easier. Why not? And I think Punishment Dragon will get reprinted, too. 
there we go. That's one of the cards I'm looking for. We have uh, Silent Swordsman Zero. So yeah, this card is pretty awesome. It's part of the cool, you know the whole Yugi thing with Silent Swordsman and Silent Magician. And uh, yeah, they actually have a lot of high rarity. So I'm a little worried about building this because whew, it's going to be some hunting for sure. But I want to build it. It looks fun. It really does. And having Gandora as the boss monster, I'm pretty excited about that. And next set, we get a Dark Magician that goes with them too. An actual Dark Magician. An Illusion one. Hope I get that from my Japanese box as well. And we have more Marshmallow. That actually goes with the whole Yugi thing as well, of course. He used Marshmallow and of course he got Stronghold because he got the gadgets and all too. I wonder what rarity the gadgets are. Maybe they're super. Don't have all the rarities down yet. Come on, give me a Seeker Air. There's some pretty crazy ones in this set, so I'm hoping to have some good luck. And uh, we have Spearhead of the Ashen City. Again, the Ashen stuff's really good. I've seen it. I like how basically it can change typing as the different monsters, and <sighs> it's, a, it's an interesting one. It's like an anti-fire deck that also uses some of the new fire support. It's kind of funny, because they use Bonfire as well. I don't know. Might, might actually be another good World Premier archetype. I feel like we don't see that too often anymore. Just seems weird. Oh, well, those stuck together. Oh, okay, we have Rekindling the Ashen. So I didn't like really spoil anything too much. Super rare. Cool looking though. But I hope you held on to the Ashen cards if you were going to build them because a lot of the older stuff from the previous set went up in price quite a bit. So, because their new cards are pretty insane. They got some cool fusions. And... Oh, there we go. That's one of the ones I need. I don't I don't know price. Don't care. I need this card. <laughs> so, Nightmare Apprentice. Yeah, uh, I want to try this out with Chimera. Because she's kind of a search for illusion monsters. The Chimera stuff is all illusion. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. She is kind of essentially the new Dark Magician girl. So, I have a feeling she's going to be tough to get. You know, waifu tax and all of that fun stuff. <laughs> but... That's my first one, so I'm pretty happy about that. That's a good secret here. I think she's going to be the most expensive one, but I could be totally wrong. I'm not going to include prices in this video because it's basically sneak preview time, so it's not going to matter. It's it's going to be everywhere. Like some cards are going to be hyped that are going to be like worth nothing, and vice versa. And it's always so much hype that yeah, <laughs> you you don't know what things are going to be. So I'm sure when the set's actually out, I'll try to add some prices and stuff. Go with like TCG player. Just so you guys know, though, I'm, I'm not doing it for this one. And we have multi-universe. Man, I swear everyone's going to different universes. Every movie, even Yu-Gi-Oh's doing it. Well, I guess they did it in the past, but <laughs> they did it before it was cool. We had Jaden, Yugi, and Yusei together, I guess, so. The true in game. <laughs> I still like that movie. Oh, we have Zark as well. Okay, I didn't know he was actually in this. Supreme King Zark Synchro Universe. So it's a Synchro Zark. Again, it's kind of part of that anniversary pack. We did an unboxing on that too when it came out for Japan. A lot of the stuff is going to be in that Battles of Legend 2 that we're missing. So, yeah, it's pretty good actually. This is a, actually a good card for if you're building Zark. I do hope we see some others. Maybe there's going to be. I don't know, an XC as well, and um, Fusion's the original, so I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised they even made a Link, just, just because, you know? Or even Ritual, that'd be kind of funny. Oh, here we go, and... Oh, there, that's a good one. Uh, we have Minerva the uh, Athenian Light Sworn. So yeah, Minerva's grown up even more i think i think this is supposed to be the oldest version of her even more than the xc and yeah it's a pretty card i mean it's angels you, you can't really <laughs> get better than that right so not bad i would almost be tempted to build light swarms if they liked me every time i've tried to build light swarms even in edison format i built an edison version of the deck and uh i never mill what i need to and the deck hates me so i doubt i'm gonna build anything with them <laughs> I'll just keep Edison. Oh, we have our Ancient Gear Dark Golem. I am tempted to build something with them, but we'll see. I do plan, though, for this upcoming week to do an update on my Hero deck profile, and I'm hoping to get everything for you, Bell, as well, because I do want to do a deck profile on that, because the new Bell stuff's pretty crazy, and I enjoy it. 
Oh, we have Battle Guard Echoes. Not bad. And I'm going a little slower with this one, too, because it's our first unboxing in English, so. Gotta take your time. Look at the pretty commons. There's actually some pretty good commons. Especially with the Tenpai Dragons being basically common. And. Oh, we have our Dandy uh, White Lion. That one's still cute. You can't beat the original Dandelion, though. I don't think it's really as scary as the original Dandelion, to be fair. <laughs> so, there you go. This card makes me want to build them so bad. It's actually a good fusion. And it turns silence. Well, we did get the, the uh, Swordsman, excuse me. We didn't get the Magician, we got the Swordsman. So, we got the card that goes with it. Maybe we'll get the Magician as our other secret. I think she's a secret rare. I think her spell card is a secret rare. And I think even the Sarcophagus is. It's going to be fun to try to build that. For sure. I want to build it, but it's going to be pricey. And? Ah, oh, thought maybe we had something there. Uh, Metal uh, Tronus. It's a pretty cool looking card. Alright, heart of the cards. We did good with the first half. Let's do good with this half. Work with me here. And... Oh, there you go! Uh, we have Nightmare Throne. So yeah, that's the new Ubel card. Uh, it's it's pretty stupid. Honestly, it's a really good card for Ubel. Basically, it's free Ubel, free transformation even. Get one to your hand. It's like a searcher. They can also destroy. Make sure you get your bells out there. Transform them. It's... It's honestly pretty stupid. <laughs> I can't believe Ubel is getting this kind of amazing support. And I'm pretty happy about it too. Ubel did go quite a long time without support. So I guess you're going to get support. Let's do it, you know? <laughs> it is a really good card. Probably one of the best cards of the set, in my opinion. I think we're going to see Ubel doing a lot better in the meta. Uh, Ubel was already kind of joining the meta. I feel like we saw it from time to time. But uh, with this new card, I think it's going to push it even further. So we'll see. I hope to see more variety this format with a new ban list and everything. We'll see what happens. Then, oh, we got Pendulum Witch. I think she's world premiere. I'm hoping the Illusion Monsters do a lot better, too. And then we have Dibel Star, which I believe the new one is an Illusion as well. We'll see what happens. We got a lot of good cards, actually, in this set. This is a pretty good set. This is one I would actually recommend to people. But again, remember, I guess next month is Rarity Collection time. Then, oh, oh, dude, oh, dude, which one? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Nice. Uh, that's, that's one of the ones I actually really wanted. We got Gandora as a quarter century. There you go. <laughs> there, that's in the face of the people that were saying stuff on my YouTube short. They were like, oh, those were three awful packs you opened up because I had some extra packs we did opening. Well, does this make it better? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I can't choose my luck, but you know what? When it happens, it happens. So yeah, normally I see like the edge and I'm like, oh, well, it has to be a quarter century. That one surprised me actually. <laughs> Very nice. You can see it right there and everything. Again, I want to build this deck. I probably won't use this card though because it's too pretty. Probably going to be in a case. <laughs> but I I really want to build this. And Gandora is so sick looking. That's like one of the coolest boss monsters. I, I really enjoy Gandora. So yeah, even in Japan, they had the original Gandora as a quarter century to go along with all this. That is cool. So my first box, I get a quarter century. That's a good start. I, I don't know if it's going to get worse. <laughs> I feel like I can't top that now, right? Uh, let me get a sleep, by the way, or it's going to bother me. But we'll, we'll try to top it in the future. I don't know. We'll do more openings. But I don't know if it's going to get much better. There we go. Okay. Dragon Shield Sleeves, by the way. Very pretty. God, that, that's a pretty card. I was, I was really wanting one of those. Because, again, I love Gandora. I still want to get the Japanese one, the the original art quarter century. Oh, those stuck together. What was it? Oh, oh, so I still got a secret rare. Dude, okay. I usually just kind of accept that if you get a, uh, if you get a quarter century, you don't normally get a secret rare, it feels like, you know, or most time it was kind of like that with Starlights. I, I, I just assumed I wasn't getting one. So this is actually really good. Uh, future Silence, by the way. So yeah, that's the other uh 
Silent Magician Seeker Rare actually in the set because the, the monster form is also one. But yeah, really pretty card. I like Silent Magician. I think she's an awesome card. I like Silent Swordsman as well. We're getting a new like Silent uh, Magician Altar Art even in the next like... Uh, I don't think it's going to be Battles of Legend, but some other thing. Animation Chronicle for Japan. So really cool. And again, it goes with the Yugi deck. So I, I don't know how many of these I need. I hope really only one. Because God, there's a lot of secret rares I'm going to need. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Hadn't even really made a test deck yet. I'm just like, I want them. So that, that's as far as I've thought into it. So... We'll see what we can get. I don't know, man. That's normally how I plan things anyway. It's just on the fly. Let's do this. And there you go. All right. What else we got? Oh, okay. Embers of, of the Ashened. I think we're still missing an Ultra, by the way. Dang, this is a good box. What else can we get? Um, I don't know what all the Ultras are. I got even the Throne. So, God, I don't know what to ask for. Give me something good, I guess. I can't really ask for anything else when you get a quarter century. That, that's a good day. Oh, okay. Again, those cards stick together. And, oh, okay. It's Goblin Biker. So that's super. Goblin Bikers always kind of look fun. Last pack. I think it should be an Ultra Rare, but we'll see. I, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't complain either way, I guess. Let's see what we can end with. Can we end with a Hollow? An Ultra Rare Hollow? There. Does that help? <laughs> it's hard to say that these days when you're guaranteed hollows, right? So I don't say it as much. Last pack magic, though, is always a thing. Okay, should be, I think, right now. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's, I guess, one I need. Uh, we have Ties That Bind. Again, that's one of the Yugi cards, because it has, like, the whole archetype uh, together. All the monsters together in one art. I actually would like this as a playmat, to be to be honest. But, uh, yeah, I ended with my Ultra Rare. That's good. This is one heck of a box, for sure. It, it felt like more of a Yugi box, too. So, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Definitely off to a good start. I mean, Quarter Century, I mean, that that gets me right there, you know? <laughs> that makes me a fan of this right there. Especially Gendor. That that card's beautiful. That's one of my favorite, like, boss monsters, like I said. And then everything else on that. The uh, Future Silence. The Throne for that. Uh, even Nerva's awesome. Nightmare Apprentice. That's one I'm still worried about getting a playset of. And Silent Swordsman Zero. There we go. <laughs> we got a really good box for me, for sure. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed... Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. We'll have more openings, of course, when the set's officially out, which is the end of uh, this week now because it's Sunday. So end of this week. And uh, yeah, catch me on the live stream. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing well. Stay safe out there. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.